<laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Road to 200kg Deadlift episode number 7. It's time has flew by on these episodes, I'm telling you man, it seems like only last week it was the first episode. But we're 7 weeks in now and we are doing some heavy triples this week. So we're doing 135 times 3 for the first set. Fine, completely fine. Enjoyed it, good lift, everything looked good as well. And with my form as well, I'm lifting the bar set heavy in my hand with my chest forward and looking forward as well as in previous times when I've been deadlifting, I've not done that. And when I've like <clears throat> pulled a pulled the slack out of the bar and then pulled the bar, it's felt heavy. And doing this allows it to feel heavy throughout more muscles are involved, etc. It's what my coach pointing out to me as well to start doing that as well and obviously it has helped a lot. At the start it was just getting like adjusting to it, getting used to it as well because you've been doing it for so long without doing it and then you just and it's like, oh, this takes a while but it doesn't take long and as you can see the first three sets of 135 for three flew up. They were easy, they felt easy. Using chalk as my only accessory, I forgot my belt. I think next next time I will bring my belt in when we start doing a heavier. So it was three sets of three at 135. Again, felt easy. About an RPE 6 maybe. And then for the 4th, 5th and 6th set we're doing 115 at 5. And I have to say, these felt really light as well. I mean, obviously when you drop down weight it feels quite light. But this just felt like easy. I'm just taking my time with my form, making sure that everything's on point. Everything felt really good on this session. Everything's moving fine. There's no lower back pain, which is good. I can't feel it too much in my lower back, which again is good. As previous times, because of my setup, I have felt it a lot in my lower back and it puts me off. Lifting when I start getting like injured, hurt, because my form's not on. It does put you off the lifting. You don't look forward to it, but once you address the form and everything like that, form, setup. It just flows well and you enjoy that lift and you look forward to it a lot more. So with me with the deadlift now that my form is getting more and more dressed each week, even the little bits just a nitpick cat helps a lot because I now look forward to deadlifting now. Because my form's improved, it's been addressed, I don't get hurt, don't get injured, it's not sore. It just feels good. Which is the main thing. And the speed of the lifts are very good as well. I'm very happy overall with all the sets that you've seen so far obviously doing the mixed grip as well much prefer to double over i never tried hook grip well i'm lying there i tried it a few times didn't like it Swip, swapped to mixed and yeah just a good session overall no f real fatigue or anything i felt like i could do it like another three four sets i'm telling you i really enjoyed this deadlift session <clears throat> But obviously, on some reps, I kind of do forget to point my chest forward. And I remember in this last set, we're using an hour of stand to see what that's like. I didn't really like it, so I went back to just using a wider one. As you can see, this is the next day of deadlifting. So Tuesday was the three triples and three sets of five. This is Thursday now. More rep work, which is always good. Address my form, etc. This is... 102.5 kg for 5 reps, again, flying up as well, this was after doing some uh, heavy sets, 5 sets of polished squats as well. And the good thing about the deadlift, even if my quads are aching as well, I just know with the deadlift, oh, I'm looking forward to it because it's not like hit my quads as well, it's like full body, obviously you feel it in your glutes and your lower back. And I actually did feel it. Funny enough, in my glutes and lower back the day after, Tuesday, so on the Wednesday, I did feel it, but it wasn't like bad or anything but yeah it's the only time where i felt like oh a bit uncomfortable after deadlifting where it's not being my lower back it's been like my gluten hamstrings but as, as you can see the weight's flying up as well again good session as well this was even despite like i said about the pause squat as well quite fatiguing done a lot of benching as well that day and this is just again more rep work which is vital to making any progress again this is the unsexy stuff that you don't want to do because you just want to max out and lift very heavy each session i get that 100 i do on these types of uh, days as well 
I'm like, oh, more deadlifting, really? But it's like, I haven't, my, my mindset is like, oh, this is all needed, necessary to get my goal. So I don't look at it like it's a chore or anything. I look forward to doing it. It's my favorite lift out of the big three. And again, if I want to reach that 200 kg, this is the type of stuff you have to do. Like I said, the unsexy stuff and the traditional stuff always wins. So moving into Friday the next day, and I was bloody fatigued and knackered because I done kickboxing after deadlifting on Thursday. So my full body's like quite tired. And I forgot that the previous week I done 120 for four reps and four sets of that. I thought I'd done 115 for some reason. So in this I decided to go for 120 because it's three reps. And <clears throat> the first set felt good. I felt it was pretty good as well. The pause was good, I wasn't like, I didn't feel like knackered as well compared to like last week when my form wasn't on point. This was like pulling up like the same amount throughout each lift on previous times, sometimes it's been higher, sometimes lower. But the first set went well, 120 for 3. And then the second set, done the same weight and again the moving fine as well. The pause is good. It felt good, as you can see, the speed is good as well, making sure my hip position is good as well. As you can see, it got a little landmine attachment down there as well. Just recently bought to do landmine pressing in as well. I'll have a full video reviewing that compared to a gym's landmine attachment while you need to make some adjustments to it. Accessories, chalk again. So, I ch chalk's the biggest help, I think. I mean, I haven't worn a belt too often. In the next episodes coming up, when the weight will increase, that's when I'll start using the belt a lot more rather than just, just chalk. As I think chalk just makes a huge difference just with the grip as well. I think it's so important and key and it's something that I missed out on for so long and I wondered why my deadlift stagnated was stuck on 140 for so long because I didn't use any accessories like the belt or the chalk and I think you just using the chalk makes a massive, massive difference to the grip as well. Getting on to the third set now, I'm getting a bit fatigued, tired as you can see. As you can see with the front view as well, making sure my chest is forward, I'm looking forward, I'm not looking at the ground. Making sure my form is on point, making sure the pause is good as well. Again, taking my time between the lifts and getting my bracing on point as well. Because sometimes when I haven't done my bracing properly, I have felt it like the lift is much tougher. Why breathing and bracing is so important for balance. It really is so important as well. It's one thing that you just like overlooks that's why I used to do with the start and obviously like all this breathing it's like oh felt like a chore but once you start doing again in the routine of it you know how beneficial it is and then you look back at me like I wish I'd done bracing early so for the fourth set I shot two and a half kilos on each side up to 125 because this is when I did look at my program and sheets and see that last week was 120 for and the 120 s felt fine as well I felt confident enough that I can put two and a half kilos on each side and I'll be able to lift it no problem so the first set 125 for three yeah it felt fine even after doing three times three up in the weight as well it felt good and after after seeing obviously in my program I was like well I've got up the weight now basically but as you can see the form is still good as well which is the main and important thing I'm taking my time like I said making sure everything's on point the bar straight it's not out in front of me it's going up my legs, it's touching my legs at all times as well, not going out in front where I'd be cat backing for example. I used to do that a lot of the time as well, I used to never sit up properly for the deadlift. I used to like roll the bar around and like pick it up and obviously with that knee caves etc. And as you've seen from the episode there's been no knee cave basically, everything's looked good, it's been solid. Rooting my foot into the ground as well, making sure my setup's good and not just rushing into the lifts. And as you can see... The fifth set, the first two reps are fine. And then the last one, yeah, I was knackered. I was quite fatigued from it as well, which is, it was a bit of a sloppy rep. Which, I mean, I'm not too proud of them, but I'm not feeling it as well. This pause just wasn't long enough, really. I mean, these things happen as well. Not every lift is going to be perfect. I mean, sometimes I'm like doing the pause stuff, 
I have just forgot to pause in general, but this time I did like remember to pause, but it wasn't long enough like the other lifts. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode seven of the Road to Two Hundred Kg Deadlift. Please like, subscribe for more, and yeah, catch you in the next episode. See you later. Mm.